This is your captain speaking, and you've just arrived at your destination. 78 Ways Studio. For four decades, Anchor House has helped vulnerable children, youth, and families navigate some of life's most painful challenges, seek support in the times of their crisis, while helping them ensure success along their journey. Over the years, our commitment to providing a safe haven where abused, runaway, homeless, aging out, and at-risk youth and their families are empowered to succeed and thrive has remained steadfast. Anchor House began in 1978 when then Councilman Joe Yuhas and several community leaders became aware of runaway teens in their midst. The group fought to establish the first crisis shelter in Mercer County, specifically for adolescents. Back then we would find kids at the uh, bus station on Perry Street uh, and uh, certainly at the old train station, just sleeping there, and, and we knew we had, to, we had to do something. We didn't know what, we didn't know where we would get money, we didn't know really what we would do, but we decided we had to do something, and this facility kind of came about uh, through uh, the largesse of then the, uh, the Diocese of Trenton, and although they, they welcomed us uh, with some trepidation, we had to go through a use variance at the uh, Trenton Zoning Board of Adjustment. We went, uh, we had a very contentious uh, hearing, a public hearing. The neighbors, many of the neighbors, many of whom right here on Center Street came out, were vehemently opposed to us. The members of the Zoning Board saw that this was a, a good thing for the community and we received approval. My name is Beth Mallory. I am the Vice President on the Board of Directors for Anchor House. Um, I think I've been on the board now for about eight or nine years. Mm -hmm. The time just flies. And I've been associated with Anchor House for the past 13 years as um, a participant in the Ride for Runaways. And Anchor House is important to me because it is a, a local organization that helps the kids right here in our own neighborhood. It's a very uh, financially sound and well-run organization, and the money truly goes to help the kids. Today. The shelter is joined by a complement of trauma-informed residential and community-based programs serving young people ages 12 to 24. These services include our Anchorage Transitional Living Program, School Outreach, Connecting Youth, Anchor Line Apartment, Rapid Rehousing, Street Outreach, Coordinated Entry, and our Youth Advisory Council. My name is Rihanna. I am the Anchor Line uh, Life Skills Counselor here at Anchor House. I've been with Anchor House for two and a half months. The, the kids are the reason why I come to work every day. I think the most impactful way that they influence my life, the absolute resilience. It's, it's just amazing to see. And not just the resilience, which is like mind boggling at times, but the, the caring and the empathy towards others. My name is Norbert Nyakis. I am currently a life skill counselor here at the Anchorage. I've been with the organization Anchor House in Anchorage for 17 and a half years. For the Anchorage specifically, there, there is a, a built-in structure that aids them in finding work, um, going to school. There are certain goals and requirements that they need to meet. Uh, and through that process of getting them to get to those stages in their life where they're accomplishing, you know, working on a regular basis, where they're going to school, finishing their high school degree, uh, finishing college courses, stuff like that. Um, we have a nice built-in system to provide them with the support to get through that. My name is Ben Thornton, and I'm currently the Director of Outreach Services for Anchor House. And today, um, it's a Sunday, we get to take a little trip around the city. We're going to be visiting one of our Connect to Home clients who just got into college and starting his college education. 
and we'll support him with some school supplies and things like that. Congratulations, sir. How you doing? It's the book back. Start of a big deal. We recognize the difficulties that our youth and families have in even asking for help sometimes, and to know that when you call or visit Anchor House, you are being met by not only a professional person, but one who truly cares about what is happening and is there to assist. Our kids know this about us. This is what makes Anchor House unique and special, knowing and really feeling the warmth of caring adults who are there for them, not only in crisis, but in success. Our volunteers bring so much to the table in so many ways. We have volunteers who are mentors for our young people who help them to uncover their potential and their talents and discover new possibilities for their future. We have wonderful volunteers who come in every week and cook dinner with and for the youth or help them to just enjoy being young people. What I thought was very interesting back then is one of, one of the leading antagonists was a woman who, who lived not far within a block who uh, spoke vehemently that this was going to be the end of Center Street as she knew it. But then after we started, after we got going, uh, she ended up being a volunteer and cooked dinner once a week. And that, that's, that's what happened. And we had many people in the area who would come in and they would cut the grass or do whatever. And... Uh, that was uh, early on. We, we relied on so many volunteers. Uh, we relied on the, on the largesse of the community so often uh, that uh, I think that's what makes Anchor House so special, certainly to me and certainly to uh, many people. Uh, those people who come in and cook for the kids, I think that provides kids with a different perspective of understanding that people they don't even know care enough about them to give up their time to do something on their behalf. Uh, I think that says a lot, and I think although the kids may not, they, the people may not know the kid's name, they may not recognize or see a thank you necessarily every time, but I think that will resonate with the kid on a long-term basis when they think back on their life and they recognize how they grew up or the experiences that they had, that people cared. Before we leave today, we would be remiss if we did not thank not only the riders, the, the support staff that are going, but the families that are lending your family and friends to us. Thank you for that. We thank all of you who donated in some way, all of you who are volunteering, anybody who is doing anything on behalf of kids from the bottom of our hearts. We sincerely thank you for that. We ask that you continue to support us, continue to lift us up during this ride. We will be with you in spirit. Um, so when it gets hot out there, you're riding for the kids. If it starts to rain, you're riding for the kids. Be safe in doing it and know that we're cheering you on here in Trenton and we'll meet you back at Quaker Bridge Mall all safe and ready again to say on behalf of the kids, we did this again, 40 years strong. Thank you so much. My name is Denise. I was a Anchor House resident in 1989. I was 14 years old and I stayed from October to November. Um, what is Anchor House to me? Anchor House was my foundation. It was something that had I not gone to, I wouldn't be where I am today, who I am today, how I am today. Um, I think it gave me a place to ground myself, have the ability to breathe, go to sleep at night and wake up in the morning and not have a fear of what the day would bring because I just could be 14 and focus on what I needed to. As we reflect on 40 years, we recognize that there is still work that must be done on behalf of youth and we are poised to continue to strengthen our commitment and advocacy on their behalf. For 40 years, we have been making an impact on the lives of our youth and young adults. We look forward to continuing to make a difference.